Sarah says, is it permissible to become a professional makeup and hairstyle artist and open a woman's saloon where uh, you have to do eyebrows, hair extensions and post these pictures on the website for marketing? First of all, being a hairdresser or a makeup artist by itself is halal providing that your customers are using it in halal. What does that mean? It means that if I have a parlor, beauty parlor, or a salon, and women come in and go out without abiding by the hijab, like if I'm living in a kafir country, or in a country that women do not abide by the hijab, should I work on them? The answer is no. This is totally prohibited because you are collaborating with them on sin. How would I know, Sheikh? They came in without hijab and they're going out without hijab. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that this is haram. But if you are in a Muslim country and the women abide by the hijab and she comes in wearing the niqab all covered from head to toe and she wants you to work on her, there's no problem in that. Providing that you only do what is halal. So makeup is halal. Hairdressing is halal. But when it comes to removing the eyebrows, plucking, cutting, shortening, all of this is totally prohibited. It is totally prohibited to touch a single hair on the eyebrows. If it comes to hair extensions, the Prophet ﷺ in the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, said that the Prophet ﷺ cursed the women who make hair extensions and the women who have these hair extensions made for them. So it's something that is cursed. There's a curse in it. It's a major sin. Likewise, if they require waxing of the awrah, of the private parts. So it's totally prohibited. You cannot assist on that. And you can investigate from there on. So halal things are permissible. She has a wedding tonight. You work on her face, put her, give her makeup, uh, 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 eyeshadow and, and, and uh, foundation, and creams and, and whatever. No problem with that all. But when it comes to haram, you have to stay away from that.